Okay, this is my first video on moving to Spain. Um, first thing I want to say is my Spanish is abysmal. <laughs> um, you're probably catching me at the right stage actually because you'll see things develop over time. Um, I'm currently back in the UK, but we're going to be moving to Spain shortly, although I'll be working in the UK. Um, but after my visit to Spain recently, I can honestly say that I have to learn Spanish. <laughs> but pronunciation is something that I could see even with guys that have been there a fair, a fair while, they're still even getting the town names wrong. Um, there's a bit of confusion on some of it. So if something doesn't sound right here, um, it's probably wrong. It's, it's me. <laughs> so first thing I want to say is um, this video is about the Empradro Empradro Mento. Uh, give me a round of applause, don't give me grief. Um, or the Padron. Both are loosely translated as uh, census, which is basically the electoral roll. If you're going to be moving to Spain, even if you're there short term and haven't got your residency visa or that yet, you need to enroll on the electoral roll, which is the Empradronamento or Padron. There are both, I think there's two documents, I'm not 100% sure yet. But it's very, very important that you get registered on those because they actually act as proof of residency. So even if you want to become a full-time resident, um, or should I say a Spanish citizen, if you're on the electoral roll, that is proof that you actually live there. And that's actually one of those ways of providing proof that you've been there for two years or whatever it needs. I think it's two years for Spain to become a Spanish citizen. So as soon as you get there, get enrolled. I'll say again, hopefully I get it right. And Padron Mento, actually sounds better the more I do it. Uh, order Padron, which are, like I said, check if there are two documents or one. Um, the, hang on a second, I did. Um, it's a, uh, you'd have to get it um, in your own barrio. The barrio, I believe, means town, which is the area you live in. So it's probably going to be held at the town hall. Um, just ask the your residents around you, because they'll already know, because they'll have one for the people that live in their house. Um, so it's not hard to locate. Also, if you change address, you need to update it. Um, this needs to be done um, so that people know where you're resident. Same as the UK, whatever, for elections. If you're on there, they know where you are. Um, now, the permanent residence um, is called, this is another one, Residencia de Laga Dorusión. I'm probably not getting it right. Maybe somebody can correct, correct me. But to get that residency, this is the an important proof of documentation. Um, because, I'm sorry, I'm just double checking the, the actual length of time you need to be in Spain. It is two to three years. So this, this acts as a very important piece of evidence that you actually are or should be allowed in Spain. Um, but also, if you're registered, it's also towards your uh, residency. Um, so when you rent a place, get down to the barrio, this is my address, get on the list, they now know where you are. You've now got a little date with a clock that says he's been or she's been or we've been since this date. You now have proof of residency, even if you haven't got your residency cards yet. Okay, that's uh, tip number one.